Charlie Stanley of RoyersBoxing.com with Martin Lindsay. Martin, haven't talked to you since you retired. Just how's it? What's the difference? Or how, what's life like as a retired fighter? Started doing a bit of coaching now, so you know, looking after a few fighters and mainly kids. But I give a help out with young Chris Patrick and, and Alfredo Mealy and young James Farr as well. So do you miss it? No, I do miss it. There's, yeah. there's days where I feel like oh, I'll give it one more go, but I don't know. You never know. You know. Never know. So, never if a fight came along, or would you take, or would you like to well, take a couple of fights and, and get back into it? You got enough preparation. I would, I would take a fight, but you know, it's, it's hard. Everyone wants to get a fight in a couple of weeks' notice. Or something yeah. Like that. So I'm, not, I'm not interested in any of that. Like. But if you're still open to a comeback. So, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> a venue like this would suit your it's, fans, wouldn't it? When you see something like this. Just get them here with yeah. all the local support, the ones who came and supported me. Yeah. It makes you look back and go, I'll oh, give it another go, you know. I'm getting tingling down my spine already, and then yeah. it's only starting to pack up now. And what about the division at the minute when you look at the likes of Selby and, and Warrington and how well they're doing? And it's it. They're, they're, they're actually winning next. The, the, the team's doing brilliant, so they're yeah. you know, European champion, world champion, so, you know. No shame in losing them too. And when you look at um, Eddie's looking to put the two of them together down the line, who would you yeah. have been in the ring with both of them? Who would you fancy doing it? It's, well, it's going to be an Allen Road, definitely. Yeah. Because I think uh, Warrington sells it. it does sell tickets, tickets. Are, yeah. But um, it'd be a tight fight. I can see it going two ways. Selby is the better boxer, and Warrington can't be hit. But if Selby lets Warrington in, he can work. He has some engine on him. Like he, he, he the question is power. Is, does, he, does he bang, no? It stung me a couple of times. Yeah. You know, um, no, I'd say, I'd say Selby is uh, probably the bigger puncher. Like. And after watching the two of or after losing to the two of them, is it nice to watch them do so well? Like, you say. If, if the two of them fought, they would actually go bad ticket and go over and watch yeah. it. Just as a, as a supporter, I wouldn't care who wins. Yeah. You know what? I don't care who wins, just to go over and watch it to say, you know, what both of them are, my 12 rounds with both of them. Yeah, and just then, you're saying you were working with some of the lads, it's Friars, Melly and Fitzpatrick, and just how you rate them individually, or? All talented kids, all, all they need a bit of break, a bit of luck, yeah. you know, especially Alfredo, you know, he's, he's 10 and 0 now, hopefully after, after tonight, you know, maybe somebody like Blackwell will pick him for a, a volunteer defence. See how he goes and do you think he could do a job against the likes of Blackwell? And I think he's your valiant. Yeah, is he you know, extremely underrated? Is he? He is very extremely yeah. underrated. You know, uh, I'd say he could probably go late middle or late middle as well. Yeah. You know, he's not, he's not that heavy. Uh, he, he only came in here two pounds above late middle. Really. Yeah. So, you know, it's up to him what he wants to do. So. I'm sure after we'll see more tonight. Yeah, yeah. We had to drain down a wee bit to get it on the weight. Yeah. So we'll see how he feeds tonight if he wants to go late middle or middle. But he's a, a fight for anyone. You know, he works hard and he works hard for every minute of every round. So whoever he's in against, they're going to have to work hard to beat him. Like. And then James, he looks a very intelligent very, fighter. A very smart fighter. Yeah. And he's the same, you know. He's sad in the room now at the minute. Not a couple of fights. He's been having on the British title. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. And then young Joe. And young Joey's second fight tonight. Yeah, I know. And his potential is unreal. You know, all he has to do is stick at it, learn the basics. He's still only 20 years of age. Yeah. Once he gets a bit older, he'll be. The, the lightweights in Britain now at the minute are all come to the end of their careers. In a couple of years, it's, that division's wide open for him. Lovely. Well, I appreciate you talking to us, man. Thanks, man. Enjoy your Thanks night. Thanks very much.